Hi everyone, this is your quick recap for the entire first season of Survivor, where people from all walks of life are marooned on an island vying for the chance at one million dollars. Season 1 premiered on May 31st, 2000, where 16 castaways are immediately split into two tribes of eight and are given two minutes to salvage anything they can from a boat and head to their respective beaches. The two tribes are Tagi and Pegong. The Tagi tribe consists of Sean, Kelly, Rudy, Sonia, Richard, Sue, Dirk, and Stacy. The Pegong tribe consists of Jervis, Colleen, Bibi, Ramona, Gretchen, Greg, Jenna and Joel. Both tribes make it to their beaches. Pretty quickly on Tagi, Richard expresses his frustration with the lack of communication on the tribe. On Pegong, Bibi and Ramona follow a map to a supply of fresh water. We get told that throughout the season, tribes will compete in a series of challenges where the winning tribe will have immunity while the other will head to tribal council and vote one of their members out. So we head to the first immunity challenge, where Tagi and Pegong face off to see who can light all of their torches first while having every tribe member hold on to a raft. It's a close race until Sonya falls down on Tagi, where Pegong takes the lead and eventually wins, forcing Tagi to vote one of their own out at the first ever tribal council. At tribal council, it comes down to the final vote, with three votes on both Rudy and Sonya. But it's Sonya who's the first one sent packing. Although it was Richard that voted out Stacy at the last tribal, Stacy thinks it was Rudy who voted for her and is growing more and more frustrated with him. There's more talk about BB and his work ethic and worry that he'll burn out his energy, but they're also afraid of ever arguing with him. Ramona isn't feeling well and is having trouble eating. Colleen and Greg begin to bond as they roam through the jungle. BB continues to disagree with everyone on the tribe. BB then decides that he wants to leave and they can vote him out. I don't mind, I'll go. No, we no, can't. We can't. <laughs> At the immunity challenge, tribes are told to eat beetle larvae, and the first person that refuses to eat one loses the competition for their whole tribe. In the end, Tagi wins, sending Pegong to their first tribal council. Although BB and Greg voted for Ramona, it's BB who is the second person voted off of Survivor. Stacy, Kelly, and Sue are growing more tired of Rudy, but Stacy has accurate suspicions that Sue is going to target her at the next tribal council. Sue's also tired of Dirk's preaching. Tribes compete for a fishing spear by lugging a chest from the bottom of the ocean, and Tagi wins. With the fishing spear, Richard goes out and catches a few manta rays. At the immunity challenge, teams have to take a stretcher and find their tribe member that's been placed in the jungle, then bring them back to shore. Pegong is the first to arrive, sending Tagi to their second tribal council. At a rainy tribal council, votes come in for both Stacy and Rudy, but it's Stacy that receives the majority, making her the third person voted out. Both tribes are told to build SOS signs, and whoever is viewed as the most visible gets supplies. There's a lot of disagreement between various tribe members, and Richard decides he's going to use some of that emotion to create alliances. Tagi ends up winning the care package, and Kelly, Sue, and Rich form an alliance of three. It's time for a relay at the immunity challenge, and Taki comes out on top, sending Pei Gong to their second tribal council. Colleen is worried votes will be against her since she's not the best at competitions, but at tribal, Jenna, Colleen, and Ramona all get votes, but with four votes, Ramona is the fourth person voted out. Everyone is getting annoyed with Sean and Dirk for being non-contributors and wasting their time fishing while catching nothing in the process. At the reward challenge, Pei Gong wins fruit and a chicken. On Pegong, Colleen and Greg make it obvious they've become closer and the tribe is suspect of a romance brewing. Tagi is growing more concerned of Dirk's weight loss. The alliance of Rich, Sue, and Kelly think that it might be time for one of Dirk or Sean to go. At immunity, in a battle of rowing, Pegong comes out on top, sending Tagi to tribal. At tribal, Dirk votes for Sue, Sean votes for Rudy, but the rest of the votes fall on Dirk and he is sent packing. Tagi begins strategizing on who they want to get out first from Pegong when the tribe merges. Rudy joins the alliance of Sue, Richard, and Kelly, making them a foursome. On Pegong, Jervis is in hot water for a joke he made about the women and others are beginning to see how he doesn't contribute much. The women in the tribe are also complaining about Joel's constant chauvinism, mansplaining, and controlling nature. At immunity, Tagi comes out on top. Joel and Jervis vote for Jenna, but the rest of the votes fall on Joel, and he is gone. Now it's time for the tribes to merge. Pegong packs their stuff and moves to Tagi's beach, where the tribe becomes Ratana. At the first ever individual immunity challenge, players compete to see who can hold their breath the longest. The top three in the breath holding round move to the final round. Sean, Greg, and Jervis make it to the final round, where Greg wins the first ever individual immunity. At Tribal, Greg votes for Jenna, Gretchen votes for Rudy, Colleen votes for Richard based on his overconfidence, Jenna votes for Jervis, Sean votes for Colleen based on nothing, but the Alliance of Four all vote Gretchen and that's enough to get her out of the game. Some of the players are pretty sketched out that four people voted for Gretchen without their knowledge. Sean thinks it was four of his former tribe members. 
Jenna wants to keep the women working together and says her next targets are all men, but Sue isn't interested in a women's alliance. Rich has a big catch out in the ocean, which makes everyone realize how much more important Rich is to the tribe. Greg starts to see Richard as selective with his info, so he starts getting closer to Richard to keep an eye on him. Richard grows more and more wary of Greg in the process. Everyone gets videos from home except for Jenna, who then says she might want to go home so she can see her daughters. Sue grows more annoyed with Jervis. Jervis then wins the individual immunity challenge. Jervis and Colleen wonder if they can get enough people to counter the perceived alliance from the other side. At Tribal, Jervis, Colleen, and Greg vote for Jenna since she wants out of the game. Sean sticks to his alphabetical strategy he's been implementing in the game and votes for Greg, but little does he know that the Alliance of Four is also voting for Greg and Greg becomes the first member of the jury. Kelly is growing more unhappy lying to everyone else by pretending she's not in this alliance of four. Colleen is annoyed with Rich's arrogance and nakedness. Sean tries to tell everyone to not join an alliance and then promptly admits his alphabetical voting strategy. Rudy then wins his first individual immunity. Jenna, Jervis, and Colleen all decide they need to get Richard out. Sue and Richard are growing worried that Kelly is shifting her trust to the other girls in the tribe. At Tribal, Rich receives three votes from Jervis, Jenna, and Colleen. Kelly votes for Sean but the remaining four players all vote Jenna out. Everyone is now 100% sure that there is an alliance on the island, and Rich thinks that Jervis tried to form an alliance against him. Sean regrets his alphabetical strategy now that he cast the deciding vote, but those who voted out Rich are already frustrated with him. Richard decides to limit his fishing so those who voted him out can't have any. Sue starts to think about eventually turning on Rich and using Kelly to do it, and says she'll never burn Kelly no matter what. Richard then wins his first immunity challenge. Jervis knows he's the next target, so he talks to Colleen, Sean, and Kelly to form an alliance. Richard and Sue know that Kelly might be breaking ties with them, and at Tribal, Jervis and Colleen end up voting for Sean, citing his lack of vision with an obvious alliance in the game. But Richard, Rudy, Sue, Kelly, and Sean all vote for Jervis, making him the third member of the jury. Colleen's super depressed at being the last member of the original Pagong tribe. Sue is growing more annoyed that Kelly is still trying to play both sides, and with six players left, everyone is slowly growing more paranoid about their relationships. At Immunity, everyone has the simple task of standing on a board for as long as possible, and after 2 hours and 54 minutes, Kelly wins. And at Tribal, the majority of votes fall on Colleen. Five castaways now remain. Sue voices her frustration at Kelly for playing both sides with the Pagong tribe members, and Richard's happy that the cracks in the relationships aren't falling on him. Sue tells Kelly they'll be civil with each other, but she's not letting her get to the end. At the immunity challenge, Kelly wins yet again. Richard feels he's losing his power within the group, with Kelly winning all the competitions. At Tribal, the Alliance of Four all vote out Sean, making the Alliance of Four the final four. It's finale time, and Kelly now feels like the odd one out, with Rudy, Rich, and Sue all gunning for her. At the immunity challenge, players are questioned about the jury. It comes down to a tiebreaker between Kelly and Sue, where Kelly wins yet again. At Tribal Council, there's a 2-2 two -two tie between Sue and Rich. There's a revote where Rudy and Kelly both vote for Sue. At the final immunity challenge, Richard drops out first, telling Kelly and Rudy he hopes they'll recognize all he's done. And after four hours, Kelly wins another immunity. And with her sole vote, she chooses Rudy to be the final member of the jury. The seven members of the jury question both Rich and Kelly, where the highlight is really Sue pleading to the jury to vote for Richard to win. Jervis, Colleen, and Jenna end up casting their votes for Kelly to be the first winner of Survivor, while Sue, Rudy, and Sean cast their votes for Rich. So the vote all comes down to Greg, who ultimately votes for Richard Hatch to be the first winner of Survivor. All right, this has been your quick recap for Survivor Season 1. Everyone comment below your thoughts on the entire season and let me know which seasons you want me to recap in the future. As always, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. And if you want to like this video, that would be greatly appreciated. And if there's any ways you prefer me to better recap these videos in the future, please let me know in the comment section below or follow me on Twitter at SpicyBarrett. Until the next recap, I'll see you guys later.